Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a care video on Convict Cichlids. And before we get into the video, I just want to ask you all to subscribe. And I've been getting lots of views lately. So, yeah, it'll mean a lot if you all subscribe. And anyways, let's get into the video. Okay, so for Convict Cichlids, they're actually pretty easy cichlids to care for and breed. And they're a good beginner cichlid. So, for the tank size, I'd say you need at least a 20 gallon. As you can see, I have them in here. And I have a big one in here. And as their max size, they, for females, I would say maybe four to five inches. Probably a bit smaller. So around four inches. Um, that would be the size for females. And for males, seven inches, seven-ish to tell males from females is the females have these orange sparkles near their stomach and their fins are more colorful and as for males they don't have those features so if you see a convict and they have these orange sparkles then you know that's a female and if they don't then that's most likely a male there are some cases where some females like this one have little orange spots so you might want to look close as for food uh, i would just say any cichlid flake or pellet would be good uh, you could feed these guys blood worms on occasion like as a treat or something raw shrimp pretty much any normal cichlid diet american cichlid to be specific but any normal american cichlid diet they should do good on and yeah pretty simple on that and as for tank mates you could keep them with pretty much any american cichlid so like blood parrots mine are a little less aggressive so i keep mine with crebenzas which is usually not a good idea but mine seems to do good and you could keep with african cichlids uh, it works for some people like how it works for me but for other people it may not work so that depends on your own fish and you could also keep them with stuff like oscars and bigger cichlids because they're very aggressive they could fend for themselves you could also keep them with catfish as long as they're not as big as them so they won't get eaten and i wouldn't recommend keeping them with community fish such as these platys and i may I may recommend you keep them with Daniels because they're fast, but I won't recommend you keep them with Betas either because for obvious reasons. As for breeding, it's pretty easy. You literally just put a male and a female together. That's it. Um, you probably won't make much a profit off of them anymore because they're so easy to breed. You may make a profit off of like these morphs and stuff like albinos and all these other fancy stuff but these regular ones you wouldn't make much because they're just easy and that's why there's no other convicts in here there used to be a bunch of females in here but he bred with all of them and i had to sell all of those so yeah also guys for this quarantine tank i know i said um it would be in this video that what's gonna be in here but it's probably gonna be next week because I have no time to get what's gonna go in here. So you, not 100%, but you may see that next week. So yeah. Okay guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below if you like these care guide videos or if I should go back to my normal vlog style videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.